Moorhead Hockey is celebrating 50 years of hockey tonight. And to celebrate, they've had games all day for every level of hockey. The main game, though, is tonight. The varsity boys will be hosting rival Rozo Rams tonight. The Spuds defeated the Rams earlier this season in Rozo, and since then, the Rams have gone 6-5-1. and one. The Spuds have a nearly identical record over the same time period, going 6-4-2. and two. With Rozo right behind Moorhead in the conference standings, the Spud players know that beating the Rams a second time this season will be no easy task. Uh, yeah, they're a hard-working team. You know they're going to come on hard, so it's always a tough, fun game, and hopefully we'll come on on top. That game got underway about 20 minutes ago, and we will have highlights of that tonight at 10. The NDSU men's basketball team is on the road tonight for the second road game in Indiana. Their opponent this time is IPFW. This game is a rematch of the Summit League Championship game where the Bison defeated the Mastodon 60-57, to sending the Bison to the NCAA tournament. However, IPFW has not been able to build on the success of last season as they currently sit at the bottom of the league standings, tied with Omaha at 1-5. and five. The Mastodons do have a winning home record, making this game a tough road test for the Bison, who have not fared well away from Fargo this year. This game just got underway, and the Bison are trailing 20-14. to 14. Over at uh, MSUM, the Dragon women hosted Bemidji State. Morgan Banasek to Morgan Rorich to Heather Stress for, to Savannah Hanovit for the layup. Dragons up by three. Then it's Sierra Sinski with the scoop shot. She scores the first six points for the Beavers. Then it's Allison Cords driving to the basket and gets the reverse layup to go. Beavers trail by seven. MSUM extends their lead to double figures as Banasek gets the ball on the break and scores. The Dragons win this one 94 to 74. They are now 10 and 8 overall and 9 and 5 in the conference.